been real short. That are your round short. But she damn short. Um, sorry. Uh, the only thing is, is that when you vlog. Yeah, but it's okay. Oops. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Julia. I wanted to do a best of drugstore 2018. These are all the products that I have loved the past year and yeah, I'm definitely bringing them into 2019 with me. I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go and without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started get started all right guys so I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go in order the way I would put them on um, I am going to start with like my prepping my skin um, before my makeup so yeah I have been using my Garnier skin active moisture balm to hydrate my skin this has just been a lifesaver for me it's just really really great it does the job and it has SPF uh, 30 in it it's just good to me and to further hydrate my skin I always use some kind of makeup setting spray some kind of mist for my face and I just always go for my Mario Badescu rose water spray it's just super good it's a classic it never disappoints you know you know for primer I know one that never disappoints what kind of foundation it is um, the Nivea men the post shave balm is always really really great I use the sensitive one I believe they have like a cooling one too or the original or something like that and it's just really good it's super cooling it smells like a man it smells like my man so moving on to foundation foundations that have really just stuck by my side they're just that great I just really really love them it is the LA girl pro matte foundation I love this stuff it's super super good um, and the packaging is like very nice it's pretty heavy it's a glass bottle frosted glass bottle I have these in a couple different shades for like when I'm self tan and when I'm not I am super oily um, mostly in the summertime not too much in the winter and another one that is matte as well it is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless you guys have probably guessed that this was gonna be one of my favorites just because it has been on my channel multiple times multiple times because it's that great I love it it just makes my skin look super flawless I am wearing it today I just really like the way it looks um, yeah and a classic it has been around for a while it is just the L'Oreal true match foundation um, I have this in multiple shades as well mine's kind of dirty but yeah it's just a good one moving on to concealer I do have a couple that I love you can probably guess what they are because they're the only ones that I use it's my Maybelline fit me concealers these are just really really great concealers you need them um, even these in the darker shades for cream contouring is really really nice too they're just super easy and they blend out so well another favorite of mine is all again a Maybelline product Maybelline you know what you're doing um, Maybelline instant age rewind this is in the shade neutralizer um, it's just the more yellow one I do use this one or I'll use the um, thickener shade it is the pink one this one is like I said the more yellow one so just depending on what you like the Maybelline instant age rewind it is really full coverage on me so that's what I like and I let my concealer sit for a minute before I blend it out just that way it ac actually has time to sit on the skin and just build up a little bit more for when I blend it out it doesn't just blend away if that makes sense and for powder to set my face I go in with either my Cody airspun my um, translucent powder um, I don't notice any flashback with any of these powders some people do so it just depends just try it out they're only like five bucks at the drugstore so why not um, I use the shade naturally neutral because um, I did use the regular translucent one before and it looked really pink on me and I didn't really like that this one is a little bit more yellow toned um, and a little bit more skin tone for me so that's why I love this powder I have been through multiples of these throughout the year um, they're just really great this one is almost done too and I've had it for a few months so definitely need to pick up a backup and it's just great another one it's the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder I love this stuff 
This stuff is amazing. I just used the shade um, Fair, and it's also like almost out too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of, yeah. It's almost out because I love it. Try it out. It's really good. I'm definitely buying more of these. They just don't disappoint me. So, yeah. And a kind of newer favorite for me, um, probably towards like the middle of the year I started using this. It is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Lace Baking Powder in the shade Lace. It is just a really great um, translucent powder. Um, I do have the shade Banana too, but that one is like really dark. The lace powder is amazing as well. You can also probably see this one is almost out also. It's like pretty empty. So I need another one of those too. But like I said, I've been going back and forth between all three of these powders. So that's why they're all half empty. But I love them that much. Um, moving on to my brows. I'll usually do my brows somewhere after powder. I just, I can't do my brows with wet foundation. And I can't do them before foundation because I just always cover up my brows with foundation somehow so I can't do that anyway my two favorite brow product products that I have been loving are my um, LA girl <sighs> couldn't even breathe and talk um, the LA girl shady slim brow pencil I use the shade brunette or I think they had like called like auburn or something but they're just the two darkest brown colors um, I also have black too just for like the tails of my brows sometimes when I want them to be a little bit darker and they're five dollars so i love them another great one that is also five dollars is from morphe it is the just the morphe micro brow crayon and i use the shade java java and again it's just a really great eyebrow pencil they all come with a spoolie at the end love that can never go wrong with that um and yeah, those are just the ones. I have been using these all year long. And I had like five of these in my makeup bag um, at a time just because I never want to be out of them. I never want to run out of them is what I'm saying. I don't know. Can't talk. But yeah, every time I go to Ulta, I always grab like five of these. And they're usually like buy one, get one 50% off at Ulta anyway. And if you have a coupon too, save that money. Anyway. Back to, to a brow, um, I will usually go in with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. It's just a really great brow gel. I think I bought this in May and it's still going strong. Um, it's in just in the shade Transparent. It just does the job. That's all. Moving on to bronzer. So for bronzer, I even have my new one here just so I can show you guys. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's just in the shade Deep Brow bronzer i love this shade all the shades are great but this one is my favorite but yes it is a great bronzer um and this is my old one it is super beat up if you guys can see that it is just done so um another one that i will use if i am not using my butter butter bronzer is my elf little duo it's in the shade fiji sorry guys sorry guys it's just the matte bronzer and the matte blush this one is also really great for contouring as well i am wearing most of my products um most of these products right now and then um if i do go in with blush i'll either go in with that fiji blush um in the elf duo because it is matte so i do like that also um or i will go in with one of the milani baked highlighters um mine is super beat up and really dirty um excuse me but yeah this one is just in the shade dulce pink it's just a really pretty pink shade um and luminoso is also another really popular um blush from milani as well i have that one also i was just feeling more of the pink tone today on to um actually no since i did bronzer blush i'll move on to highlight you guys have seen this one on my channel as well it is no surprise it is my uh, makeup revolution soap x um highlighter palette it is just really, really pretty. Mine is super beat up, super dirty. It's super cracked. But yeah, it's just a really great palette. Um, all the shades in here are really, really great. Um, I did a purple look a while back and I used this on, the inner, on my inner corners and it is beautiful. But yeah, I usually use this shade and this shade. And if you're looking for like a lighter kind of dupe for the Fenty Trophy Wife, this one is kind of a little bit green yellow. So I mostly stick to the bottom four shades. Um, 
But yeah, it's just a really great palette. I hit pan on mostly all of those ones, and I'm going to need a new one soon. You can also get that one at Ulta as well. Um, and for eyeshadow, I just use my Morphe palettes mostly. They are pretty affordable compared to like high-end eyeshadow palettes, and you can pretty much find any color that you want in the Morphe um, palettes. Um, I have just been really, really loving my Morphe 35B. I know they have discontinued that one, but I've been really into my colorful looks lately, so that's why I've been using that. Um, or I will use mostly bronzer in the crease on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll just use this with a fluffy brush. That's just what I have today. I just did something really simple, and it's like my go-to as well. Um, on an everyday basis, if I'm still just trying to look presentable, um, but I don't really want to do a whole lot of eyeshadow, I will just go in with bronzer mostly on to um eyeliner i don't really do a whole lot of eyeliner anymore i just don't but the nyx um matte liquid liner is really great i do have it i just don't really use it a whole lot so i yeah, just really been loving um really smoky <laughs> eyeshadow um with just really big dramatic lashes so that's why i haven't been doing a liner Moving on to mask Mascara. For mascara, I have been loving my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I have been using this for years now. I just love this stuff. You just, you can't go wrong with it at all. If you haven't tried this mascara, you really need to. It is the best. As of recently, I have been loving my Rimmel Super Curler 24-Hour Mascara. It just looks like this. It's just really pretty. It kind of is... Well, just the packaging looks the same, but no, it is a huge, huge brush. Like, I saw this and I was like, what am I going to do with that? But, yeah, it just looks like that. It's super, super fluffy. It's really black. It does really thicken my lashes a whole lot, so that's why I've been loving this. Those are my two favorite drugstore mascaras, hands down. Going on to eyeliner, um, like pencil liner eyeliner pencil eyeliner you just sharpen them three dollars from morphe um and you can also use these as lip liners as well i will talk about that in just a second for three dollars you cannot beat it you just can't um and moving on to lashes my favorites have to be um the ardell wispies or the double up wispies i am wearing the double up wispies today and they just add a little bit more definition um i did load on a lot of mascara too because i wanted them to be super long and full so that's what i did um if you don't mind spending a little bit more money i still consider them to be pretty affordable slash drugstore the morphe lashes those are amazing they're kind of like faux mink to me because i just can't get myself to spend um $30. I prefer to use my Morphe lashes. My favorite is in the shade Daydreamer. They're just amazing fluffy lashes and I can use them over and over again um, a few times and they are $10. So I do not mind spending a little bit more on those but for day to day Ardell um, has great lashes as well. Um, and for lash glue, it's no surprise. I just use my duo lash glue. It's just the little one in the green bottle and I believe it's latex free and it has vitamins and all that good stuff in it so it's just a great lash glue yes we'll do lips because that's pretty much the whole face done um for lips i love two different lip liners i love my nyx lip liners um these are just yeah just the nyx lip pencils um in the shade nude beige i first saw nazanin kivari talk about these on youtube yeah they were just her go-to favorite and they are my go-to favorite from nyx as you can see this one is like teeny tiny compared to that one and i believe i have like two other ones in my purse opened as well so i just can't get enough of these another great brand of lip liners is the morphe ones which i just touched on a little bit for eyeliners as well because the morphe lip liners and eyeliners can be used for both which i think is amazing because they're all three dollars three dollars one two three like these are amazing um and they have tons of different colors um my favorites are sweet tea and honeymoon honeymoon they are pretty similar but honeymoon is a little bit more brown and sweet tea is a little bit more pink you can kind of tell right there another great one that i love is toasty it is just a very rich 
brown shade and I love this for my waterline as well when I'm doing a brown smoky eye anything warm toned it's just it looks so good I am wearing honeymoon right now on my lips I just have a Maybelline lipstick in the center but it's mostly all honeymoon lip liner I love these I need to go back and get more when they opened the store in Sacramento I bought like 10 lip liners it was that serious it was that serious that's all I'm gonna say moving on to lips I am a liquid lip girl but at the moment I still have been loving my um, Maybelline and L'Oreal lipsticks just the regular bullet lipsticks Maybelline and L'Oreal still have a great formula um, and they are like $5 five six seven dollars depending on where you go the one I have on the center of my lips right now is from the color sensational line I believe and it is the shade nude thrill it is just a very nude it is just so nude and I love it for the center of my lips just give it that pout um, and yeah it's just a really great lipstick um, also the matte ones are my favorite as well in the matte packaging um, this one is in the shade 650 a nude embrace you can see it's like pretty much all gone look at the shape of that oh my god it's like all gone wow <clears throat> I'm tired <laughs> moving on um, my favorite L'Oreal lipsticks are in the shade um, 800 it's in the shade Ferris nude it is a more like satiny lipstick um, and it's just a really great everyday pinky nude um, it's just a great shade um, another one is from their newer collection I believe they're the ultra matte or something um, but this one I love the packaging too it's just a matte like lilac -y gray color um, with the gold in the middle it is in the shade 984 it's called ultra nude mine is super broken so yeah it's just trashed I left it in my purse over the summer and it melted um, but I'm not ready to get rid of it because it's such a pretty color and I couldn't pass this up it's just cute um, another great one, moving on to like liquid lipsticks and then I'll get into glosses. Um, my favorite liquid lip creams are from NYX. Again, you can't go wrong with these. Um, my favorite shade is in the shade Abu Dhabi. It's like a, just really, I don't know why I held it like that. It's in the shade Abu Dhabi. It is just a really pretty, like warm, brown, beigey nude. I can't describe colors for anything um, but it's just a really great one and these fade so well on the lips like throughout the day so yeah those are great too another one Maybelline um, it is the Maybelline Superstay matte inks when I tried this out in the drugstore and swatched it on my hand it stayed on my hand for three days this is not going anywhere anywhere my favorite shade is in the shade 55 it's in the shade driver it's just a really pretty nude it is the best nude I think I wore this for months straight because I just love this one so much I think I have another shade as well it's like a darker like deep brown but yeah and then another favorite of mine has to be my sorry I have a lot of lippies they're my favorite um I have the morphe liquid lip I love this package in the shade um, spicy it is just a really pretty like you can tell in the package warm brown red it's just the prettiest color and I believe spicy is like the perfect name for it it's just it's so pretty I love it um, and occasionally from time to time I will throw a gloss on here and there favorite has to be the elf lip plumping gloss it does have that minty menthol -y lip plumping kind of feeling so if you don't like that you probably won't like this but if you're into that don't mind it um it's a really pretty shimmery gloss i'm gonna have to just show you because it's so pretty do you see that like oh my god that is such a pretty gloss um, and it's not sticky to me. I don't think it's sticky, but wow, I can't freaking close this. Um, it is very um, shimmery, um, like in pictures and stuff, um, or in the sun. But when I don't think it is glittery, I think it's just literally shimmer. But it's a really great gloss. I have been buying so many tubes of this because it's so good. I didn't even tell you what color it is. It's in the shade Champagne Glam, and it's $5 from Walmart. It's $5. If I was a gloss, it would be this. If I was a gloss, I'd be this one. Yes. 
Um, another really great gloss if you have to choose. Um, I would also say the Maybelline. Maybelline kills it, okay? Maybelline just knows. It is the Vivid Hot Lacquers. These are amazing. These are really, really, really pigmented glosses. A, like, very, very light pink nude. It is so pigmented. Um, I have this shade in Tease, and the other one is in Unreal. I can't find it. I know it's in my purse somewhere. My favorite gloss is, is the shade Unreal, but this one is good, too. You need them in your life. You need all this stuff in your life, but if I had to say... It would have to be the highlighter and the glosses. Anyway, that wraps up this video. Oh wait, nope, forgot. Um, my favorite setting spray for the winter time when my skin looks super dry is the Milani, the Make It Dewy um, setting spray. I love this one and the Make It Last setting spray in the way fall, summer. Do I know what season it is? It just looks so good. I'm just gonna, you know, why not? It is just so good. I freaking love this stuff. But yeah, that will finish off the video. Um, these have just been, as I said, the best for me of 2018. And I just love them so much. They are not going anywhere. I definitely have to repurchase a bunch of stuff. That is it for this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next time. Can't wait to do so many more videos for 2019. I'm really, really excited. Um, and this video is done with my brand new camera. Um, my amazing fiance, Anthony, bought it for me um, for Christmas. So I'm so, so, so happy, so overjoyed that I got it. And it came with a mic. So now I have better audio for you guys. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. I don't have my nails, so sorry, but bye guys. And I already got you elevated. You don't know if I'm a saint or a sinner yet. Ooh, even though I'm good without you, I'm fucking with you regardless. But you already singing in the prisons. Good things don't always get to you the way that you want it.